Glad you could join us. NAU researchers have been working to learn more about bat behavior following catastrophic wildfires. Teresa Beer has more. On the Apache Sitgreaves National Forest, the Wallow Fire scorched a half million acres. Wildlife managers are researching the effects of fire on wildlife so they can protect the animals living here. Unlike bigger species who are easier to track, not much is known about the post-fire habitat of one of the planet's smallest mammals. In terms of the southwest, there's not been any studies done to look at wildfire and how bats respond. By determining where bats are living in northern Arizona, land managers can preserve habitats, including maternity roosts, where up to 900 bats live beneath the bark of trees. They're really good at finding places to uh, stay out of view. You, you can't hear them, you can't see them, you can't find them. Um, they're hard to, to study. So the transmitter, if you put it on the bat, you let it go. This is the antenna. It'll take you right to where it roosts. With transmitters placed on numerous lactating bats in eastern Arizona, the search is on. What I'm going to do, I've just um, turned this receiver on. A uh, small little receiver and again very sensitive to pick up the low power transmitter. A lot of this project is just telling land managers what's even there. It sounds to me it's kind of loudest this direction generally. And then the second part of it is being able to describe what they're using. So when they roost, you know, most of them are in these snags, you know, dead trees. Roosting in cracks, guano visible at base, uh, about 30 feet tall and about one meter in diameter. And so what characteristics can we tell land managers to look for when um, doing salvage logging especially that they need to protect to keep bats in the landscapes? You know, this is something that at least thought should be given to whether somebody wants to bulldoze this down or, you know, use it as lumber or something like that. I mean, at least it should be an informed decision along that line. As the burned forest continues its recovery, this research project is ongoing, with scientists working to learn more about bat habitats so they can work to preserve them. For Inside NAU, I'm Teresa Beerer.